Well, this should be a quick one. Let's review the last four jersey matchups. Um, you already know everything about the quarterfinals. Let's look at semifinals and final. Um, if you watched my preview for the semifinals, review of the quarterfinals, you surely saw that I wanted to see the yellow jersey of Belgium here. I also said I can well imagine that they play in all red versus all blue because we have seen it a few times, namely uh, Japan versus Belgium. That uh, and that's exactly what we got here too. So we had the navy blue of France against Belgium. I still think I would have loved it better if Belgium would have played in their alternate, which they then used surprisingly in the third place playoff. Um, Still don't quite get why they did this. Uh, also, uh, because of the Japan against Belgium and that uh, England played so well in red, I really expected England to wear red here. It made sense that they play in all white. They usually have done in all white against Croatia. It looked well, but I guess uh, that might be also a reason why we saw the red in the third place playoff. I'm speculating here, but it could very well have been the reason behind the choice of the red and yellow here. Uh, still, yeah, I think it would have looked better if uh, it was in red, but then we would have gotten the same color matchup, so maybe it was not that bad. I actually like the all-white England, but yeah, I still think red would have looked better. But I all also said I was this were wishful, more wishful thinking than really being convinced. Because I could see them in all white here too, and I could, yeah, I could see the red here. I just think that the matchups I proposed would have looked better. It was also would have allowed France to play in that traditional kit, because uh, the black pants with the yellow uh, would have nicely contrasted here, and then yellow socks versus red socks. Why not? Honestly. So this was the big surprising matchup, and it's. Even more of a stunner when you think about that um, Denmark and Australia could not play in yellow and uh, in red and yellow respectively. So say what you will, FIFA kit regulations. I don't. I sometimes really don't like them. And the same here. Uh, yes, we got used to France. They played three times with blue socks. I still think they should have worn red socks in the final. That they have at least a semi-classic look. And Croatia with White Sox would have just worked fine. But yeah, we got here at least the two first team shirts in the final, which actually looked better than if you take the shirts by themselves. I think together they worked quite, quite well. Um, my model, yes, uh, the two outsiders won the semifinals. Uh, in France's case, it was a coin flip. And then it was uh, the favorites in the respective uh, third place playoff and in the final. Well, let me know what you thought about the jersey matchups here. Uh, also interesting, we saw of the remaining four teams, we saw all the jerseys except for the France away jersey. The France away jersey we also saw here in the quarterfinal. But I thought it was an interesting fact that we saw all, uh, we saw um, seven out of eight possible jerseys. So yeah, did not go all perfect in, from quarterfinals on. I got all the quarterfinals correct. I messed up at the semis because maybe I was wishing too much. But maybe man, next time I'll probably make it better. Let me know what you thought about my thoughts here. Hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.